If psychic functioning is real, why don't we see it more often? We must understand why that is so, and we must always be open, I think, to the possibility that it's not around more often, because in fact, most of the times it's been around, it's really been simulated or faked. So could we demonstrate genuine psi on television? In New York, we set up a single remote viewing experiment. At the ASPR, Tessa and parapsychologist Keith Harari were recorded by a remote camera. Tessa would simply try to project her mind to a secret location in the city where Dr. Nancy Sondo would be standing. No one has any idea where the doctor's gone, only that she'll be there at 3.15. <laughs> Nancy should be almost there. So you can focus in on Nancy and what she's experiencing, what she's seeing around her, and the sights and the sounds and the smell, or whatever it is. You can just sort of... Um, Imagine yourself with her in a way. What comes to mind about the kinds of things you're experiencing there? It's not noisy. <clears throat> okay. It doesn't seem to be noisy, as if the noise is at a distance. Mm -hmm. um, a path. A path? Yeah, I think. <clears throat> Um, yeah, a path, a concrete path or a gravel path. I think it's like a T. I think it might, there may be a path like that. I think. <laughs> Why don't you um, sort of turn around and look behind you at this place, or even behind Nancy where she is now? I think there's tall trees there. Mm -hmm. But they're not, they're not close, it's just these little, if you look up, you can just see the branches coming over. But quite tall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if there's a stand down at one at the far end of the path. Um, <clears throat> maybe like a summer stand, a band stand, or something white with railings and a pointed roof. Do you want to draw something about that? You can put it on the same paper or another page, okay. whatever you like. Um, when we have these back home, I have no idea whether you have them here, but just sort of like a, a summer house with steps, like a summer bandstand, and a, a roof um, with railings, I suppose. It must be able to get in somehow, but I don't know where. <coughs> Quite ornate in white. Um, there might be a statue somewhere there, a tall statue, like a bronze or a metal with a concrete base, can quite you, tall. Uh, can you draw something like that? Or? Um, this is all concrete. This may be lower. I don't know whether there's steps or not. It's either something with, it's either something with wings. Oh, she's I don't know what, what it, like an angel or something. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> it's like a butterfly. It's not a butterfly. <laughs> no, it's, it's like either something with wings and a long robe. In that sort of, uh, well, I suppose it would be where the metal turns a sort of greeny, mm -hmm. greeny colour. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and turn around in some new directions. Um, I can see uh, small shops uh, off to the left hand side. Tell me about that. That's something new. Um, Across, sort of out of the park, but it's not that far away. There's like small delis, and one may, well, looks like it's got a, um, a red and white striped canopy mm -hmm. over it. Just a little row of small shops. Tessa drew everything on a single sheet of paper. A T-shaped path, clump of trees, a small building behind a fence, a statue with wings and its base, and a striped awning on a shop across the street. 
With this drawing to help him, Harare set off around New York. He had to look at four possible locations he'd been given. Only if he matched Tessa's description to the site where Sondo had actually been is the test a success. First location was Lincoln Center. Okay, nothing initially except that it's a peaceful place. No statue. Buildings are fairly large as opposed to the small structure. I don't find this T-shaped walk. Hmm. There are some shops off to the side. There is a sort of red and white awning over there. Okay. No statue, I don't think. No, I'm not very powerfully gripped by this place. It's got some subtle aspects to it, but that's it. So let's go. Let's check out the other stuff. Okay. Okay, we're here at Trump Tower. It's very noisy. It's very crowded. Don't see any statues or any um, T-shaped paths. This would not be number one on my list, that's for sure. So Trump Tower, I would have to put down as um, not very likely. 79th Street Boat Basin. And we do have a path here in a kind of park-like setting. But I don't see anything like this area in here, in this rotunda in her description, in Tessa's description. Nor do I see boats or this harbor area for the shoreline. So I would have to say that this is not um, a really strong possibility. OK, first thing I notice is I come up this path that does come to a kind of a T. There is a statue with wings. Well, it's very hard to ignore having somebody describe a statue with wings and finding a statue with wings. The statue is turning green. And she did mention that the statue had green to it. There is a cement or stone walk here. There are trees around. Take a look over here. There's another small structure over there that could also relate to this. Tessa also described having a, the city sort of surrounding with the street nearby this park-like area and then having shops across the street and a red and white awning, which I see there is a red and white striped awning. And this is more definitely red and white than the sort of um, terracotta shaped one that we saw at Lincoln Center. That's really red and white, no denying that. Um, so we have the trees, the wings, the awning, the stores, the park-like setting, the statue, the green on the statue, the sort of small T-shaped walk coming into this place. Um, so I am going to, um, I'm going to have to, I mean, there's no choice. I'm going to have to rate this number one um, if I'm going to rank order them. Of course, I've been thinking about this as I've been going along. Um, Lincoln Center would probably be two. Um, the Boat Basin, three, and Trump Tower, four. But this is a big number one. I mean, this, this has so many correspondences that It'll be very interesting if this is not the place. A telephone call to the ASPR confirmed this was the correct site. Nancy Sondo arrived with Tessa, who was not told where she was going. Does this look familiar? Yeah, it looks very familiar. <laughs> what, what, what looks familiar? The wing. It's quiet. That looks Walk up like here. my bandstand. <laughs> you said it was peaceful, like yeah. far. Yeah. Um, you had high trees, tall trees. Yeah. Um, there are some uh, some wings. <laughs> okay. Definitely. I said this was that metal that goes green. Oh, you said that right. You said the metal went green. Yeah, it's green. And, the, and there aren't a lot of people here. You can hear the city around. Oh, I have something else to show you. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you see that? That's incredible. <laughs> what do you notice? The shop with the red and white striped awning. Yes. The canopy. Is that something or what? Yeah. The little shops, right? So, oh, amazing. Um, 
Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. That's that, really... that is incredible, yeah. Uh, there really is a phenomenon. You can demonstrate it experimentally, you can see it happening, um, but the interpretation is very foggy. It's as if we're back in the 16th century studying electricity. We may not even have the right metaphors to work with. We know that something that we don't understand is going on. It has to do with the physical world. It has to do with um, how consciousness interacts somehow with matter and energy and time. Um, so physics is incomplete. And there's a BBC book of the series.